Okay, somebody asked me to do a short, quick video of what I do, how I do the the uh, relays in line to work AC fans. Um, this is my box. I'm putting my Falcon in. It's not as sexy as some of the others, but you know it's functional, and I use what I have. You know, the screws and such aren't you know the right length, but hey, it is what it is, and it'll it'll work just fine. Um, as you can see here. Uh, the the a the AC line from the the uh, fan goes in here. I'm using a different type of relay here. I'll show you that in just a second. Then from here, this is the line that goes to the uh, AC power itself. This line right here is uh, the DC line. And so um, when I hook when I give 12 vo volts to this line here, then the fan comes comes on. Okay, so then, um, you know, and that's, that's uh, that 12 volts will come then from the Falcon. Can't stress enough about putting a diode across the 12 volt lines here to uh, take the Falcon board, of course, and when you uh, take off 12 volts, then that, that fan goes away. Relay I have here is just something I had in my junk box from my ham radio stuff. Um, uses actually with a remote base, a two meter remote base, and then I had another one that I used with the uh, 440 uh, remote base just to pull the lines in and out. This one that I'm using here, see if I can get it so that it's uh, in focus, is just, it's actually a double pole, double throw, rated at about five amps, and uh, you just put the lines uh, across here, double pole, double throw, two lines instead of just a single line. Um, so I'm actually taking uh, both lines, sides of the um, of the uh, AC off, um, and um, and one of these. This is what I got from um, O'Reilly Auto Parts. I don't know what this is. Uh, if this is a uh, windshield wiper relay headlight relay or what it's rated actually at 30 amps it was five dollars and some change so i thought it was a real good deal it has heavy contacts in it um i'll i'll click it on you'll hear how pretty much heavy the contacts are um it's kind of hard to see on on in here uh, you might can see see if i can get it in the light a little bit and see if on the video it shows um, this one right here has 86. You can kind of follow the pinouts from here. The 86 and 85 is the call. Then you've got the 87, 30, and 8, uh, I'm sorry, the 80, 87A and 87 and the 30. That's, that's the throw off. Uh, so when you, um, give it, uh, 12 volts, then it, uh, you know, goes from one way to the other. Uh, you can see here that I, in this little black thing here, um, I put the diode and with a little heat shrink to keep it from um, touching the uh, relays. This was a quick, actually in the field, uh, uh, repair that I did on, on one of my ham radio repeaters. I think I may have had this one in line to uh, do battery power, go from AC to battery power. And um, there in turn, why you see it soldered on here because I don't think I had the um, uh, the push on little connectors here but again this is this relay this is would be the one I would suggest using quite honestly I just had this already on a board and it and it, and it and it'll work fine but um, since I already had it on a board then I could mount it in there and so I just uh, drilled the holes here into the board and and um, and uh, went went on with it so this is the one that I'm using in mind, but this is the one that I said that you can get at O'Reilly and uh, AutoZone, any other auto parts store all over the country. Um, like I said, five bucks and some change. Um, heavy contacts. Let's let's put some power to this, and, and I'll show you show you what I'm talking about with the with the contacts on this. As far as you can kind of hear the thing click, um, and it just kerchunks. Uh, so I know that it's a heavy contact. Here we go. So I put some uh, DC power to it I don't know 
know if you can hear that or not. Because uh, I'm clicking on and off the um, power strip over here. So there you go. Hope that helps.